to be removing the intercooler. We're going to remove the stock air box and we are going to put an AEM intake on that. And I'm just gonna remove this and probably reroute the Crawford air oil separator. Also gonna put in an HKS blow off valve on that. Let's get to it. Okay, so the intake is out. Very simple, eight millimeter clamp right there. That holds this uh, intake pipe, stock pipe. And then you got a 10 millimeter right here. And you got another 10 millimeter going right here. And then after that, you can just pull it straight up and you are free. Look at all that room now. Okay, so intercooler is off. So we take that out. One bolt there, two bolts holding the bypass valve or blow off valve. And then there's one more bolt holding it right over here. That one there. And you got a clamp holding a turbo. The clamp there. Now you can pull it out. Now we're gonna reroute this Crawford air oil separator. Top one goes to the front into right here. The first one here goes into the intercooler. This one here goes to the PCB port, I guess, down there. This one right here goes right above the turbo. This one over here right into the coolant and then the last one goes back into the PC port okay, so what I did next was I replaced this hose right here going into the PCD um, the old one it was brittle and it cracked so I decided to replace it with some blue 5 8 uh, silicone heater hose and then just put the, the nice heat wrap back on there. And also I replaced this one coming from the intake. Also, I found a mounting position right here. I took the spot of the old wiring harness. So I took that out. And at the back of that, there is a bolt that will just hold the air oil separator. So it won't move anymore. And after that, just connect your ECU harness and we will tuck that away also. So now it's more stable. Okay guys, so the air oil separator is mounted and then all the all the hoses are connected. As you can see. Also have the intake installed, AEM intake. I had to pop the side bumpers just to get the cone inside because the heat shield was being a bitch. So I had to put this in first, then this through, and then the cone at the bottom. Okay, next, put the intercooler back on, hook everything back up. Hopefully, get my blow off valve on, and we are good to go. Everything is all bolted up. That was a pain to put in, but it's okay. So it's gotta tighten those clamps. That is the HKS blow off valve. I still need a, a fitting for the vacuum hose here and a block off valve for this. Other than that, here is the air oil separator. Looks good, nice and mounted. Um, intake is in. Right now, I am changing my crankshaft pulley. This is a Perrin light and weight one that I, I'm putting in right now. So yeah, pretty simple to do that. And then after that, I don't know what else is there. I'll start finding some more stuff with this car just to get it on roads ready.
friend, you're about to get my reaction on how to blow up valve sounds. Let's get it. Alright, hopefully my camera doesn't fucking fall. So let's see. So that was just a quick little test run just so you guys could get a taste of what it's uh, coming on the road so you guys will see this car soon all right see you guys in the next video peace